uh, Paul Edwards, Senior Game Designer on WWE Legends of WrestleMania. And I am Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> Everybody's got a price for me. Remember that? Including you, Paul. I do. Sadly, it's lower than most people would like to believe. <laughs> and so today we're looking at WWE's Legends of WrestleMania title. Um, this title is aimed more at uh, sort of the lapsed wrestling fan, the casual gamer. So we have a, a strike button, which is on the X, and we have a grapple button, which is on A, and a defensive button, and then like a miscellaneous action button to get in and out of ring and sort of things like that. Well, you know, I'm in a habit of winning most of my matches. Of course, you know that. But yes, yes. When it comes to the game, uh, you know, I might have to pay somebody to win. For <laughs> my kids beat me at the games all the time. So right now we're looking at, of course, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, taking on Jake the Snake Roberts. Come on, Paul, you're not doing very good. <laughs> I'm trying. I can't live up the to the wrong legend, guys but I'm on trying. the mat. There you go. All right. There you here. go. We can do something flashy here. Get him. Yeah, so the first thing you'll notice is underneath the life bar there, there's a little one, two, three indicator. And that's basically uh, what we call your chain status. Um, and so the more you beat up your opponent, the better you do in the match, the higher that will go. And when you crest over into the level two or the level three area, you can start performing more powerful moves. Um, and then when you get to level three, you actually access your finisher. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, actually this was probably one of my favorite WrestleMania matches uh, because uh, uh, working with Jake the Snake was just a, a, a pure joy. And, uh, you know, of course I was always uh, the villain, and uh, I actually won this match. <laughs> so yeah, it was a big win for me. As a matter of fact, this was probably the second largest crowd that I ever wrestled in front of. It was uh, uh, Toronto, Canada at the Sky Dome, uh, 67,000 people in attendance. So yeah, it was it was a great night. And I'll be honest with you, it's really, it's really uh, I guess kept me alive. You know, I, I'm a speaker, and uh, and, I, and I go to, and I travel places, and I still do a lot of uh, appearances. And I'm amazed at how many kids know me. I mean, I mean, young kids, you know. And it's like, you know, you know, they, you know, I'm 55 years old. They weren't even alive, you know. And uh, I go, how do you know me? Oh, you're on the games. We play the games all the time. And then they tell me things that I don't even know. Like, well, you know, I got to get to this level, and I got to unlock this thing to get you. And man, you're really hard to get to. And I go, yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. But yeah, it's, it's great. The major uh, single player mode that we feature is what's called the WrestleMania Tour mode. Um, and so that covers WrestleMania events uh, from WrestleMania 1 to WrestleMania 15. And within that mode, there's three different options of, of uh, match types you can play. There's a relive, a rewrite, and a redefine. So in the relive match type, you actually have to take hold of uh, the guy who actually won one of the main events. And you have uh, your tasked with recreating the match as much as possible through a series of objectives, gameplay objectives. Um, and for rewrite, you actually take on the loser of that match and you have to kind of rewrite history also through a sort of uh, a set of uh, tasks and objectives. And for the redefine, it's sort of like a fan fiction take on it. And we changed the match type completely, maybe with a match type that wasn't even around at the time, like uh, Andre the Giant and Big John Stud, like wrestling in a Hell in a Cell match um, or a ladder match. Hey, Paul, that ain't right. That <laughs> Sorry, he was distracted. Right. That is not right, and that is talking. not how it happened. That's not how it went down. <laughs> yeah, this was a rewrite portion <laughs> yeah. of the gameplay. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not paying you to uh, <laughs> beat me on the game, all right? Come on. All right. And so in Legend Killer Mode, um, you play through a series of tiers of, uh, of older legends um, in a sort of series of uh, survival style matchups. Um, and based on your performance through those matches, you earn a certain number of points that you can then build up your character with. Man, I'm telling you, it's a walk down memory lane. Unbelievable. And, uh, and the likeness, you know, they did a really good job, uh, especially that one. <laughs> the best looking character in the yeah, game. Yeah, it's like, that's actually kind of sad because I look at that guy and then I look at the mirror and go, wait, what happened? <laughs> the, the WrestleMania that really set my career off was the first one I was in was WrestleMania 4. And, and although I lost at the end in the final match with Randy Savage, I mean, that really kicked off uh, the biggest run of my wrestling career. So I would have to say that was probably the one. You know, Hulk Hogan comes to the match, hits me in the back of the chair, beats me the bum. You know, <laughs> Savage couldn't beat me on his own, you know that, right? Yeah, never. never. <laughs> Another WrestleMania moment that uh, I thought was really great that this was uh, when Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon had the first ladder match at WrestleMania. That was unbelievable. 
in my opinion, one of the unforgettable matches in WrestleMania. Um, it'll be available for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Um, March 24th. March, right. March 24th. Hey everybody, it's Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. And I'm here for two reasons. Number one, I want to plug Legends of WrestleMania, of which, of course, I am and a star. You got to get it because it's the best game you've ever played in your life. Now, business at hand. Probably the greatest opponent, the biggest opponent that I've ever faced in my life. It's this recession. Now, they have called upon Hulk Hogan with his big biceps and his big pythons. They have called upon The Rock and what he's got cooking, and nobody can take on the recession. You know why? Because they don't have the resources of the million-dollar man. You see, because when I'm standing on my wallet, I'm bigger than everybody, including the recession. So get ready, pal, because the Million Dollar Man is coming after you. Put that in your pipe, Obama, and smoke it.